Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. Today, Monday, April 1st, 2024, we're covering, we're going in now to cover the ongoing trial of SEC versus Terraform Labs and Doquan. We've been covering it pretty closely, and uh, the trial continues today. Yesterday, I mean yesterday, Friday, the last trial date, there was a uh, victim flown in from California um, who said he invested a lot of money, was left with $28,000. He believed Doquan's tweets. Um, they're going to continue today, blasting away. Uh, we also covered on Friday the sentencing of Gina Mestre. She was a NYPD officer who leaked to a uh, guy Dunn, or Doan, as they pronounced it, uh, who was convicted of murder. Uh, leaked to him the information that he was charged with it, the video of the, that, that essentially linked him to it, and he then fled to Santo Domingo. So this was a pretty bad crime. She ple her, ple her guidelines were 70 to 87. She thought she was going to get 18, but she got 70. But she's already in nursing school, so there's that, of course. Um, in a civil case that we're covering, that we were the first to cover, Winston & Strom, a big law firm, was sued by a smaller intellectual property firm for stealing its brief. Now, some people say that people do it all the time in the law, and that may be the case. But they're claiming that there's a copyright violation, and the judge was like, okay, if you don't, uh, there's going to be a December trial. So if there is, we will definitely... Um, be covering it. Meanwhile, at the United Nations, we've asked them a number of questions about sexual abuse by peacekeepers, of which they are just constantly, you know, data dumping um, uh, uh, new instances. No one asked them about it. So we asked them about it. They don't answer. What they did for victims, no answer at all. Failure on all fronts, from Gaza to Ukraine to North Korea. Um, but we're going to continue to push to get back in. For now, we're heading in through a slight drizzle here into the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Uh, we're covering, the, obviously, the Trump um, uh, docket as well. Uh, his 175 million dollar now bond will be due Friday. So, and of course, there's the looming case of Mershon, but to be continued.